Hey everybody, Nick here, and today I got a uh, follow-up sort of review, long-term use uh, review for you on this little guy right here. This is the Casio Royale, the AE1200, but in a fancy uh, solid metal case from SKX Mod. First off, though, in the name of full disclosure, gotta let you know SKX Mod sent this guy along, told him I'm gonna talk about the good, the great, the bad, the ugly, might be a gem, might be junk, sent him the full disclaimer on my website. They did still send it along. We do have to assume this is the very best quality controlled kit ever, and I'm doing my best not to let that affect the nature or the quality of my review. Next thing. Um, this is not what shipped to me. What shipped to me originally was the kit, the case. And in fact, if you want to watch that kit be assembled, if you want to see exactly what it looked like in that process, go ahead and watch my original installation video. Throw a link to it down below, but that'll show you everything that went on there and give you my very, very first impressions here. Um, now, at this point in time, uh, I'm going to go and, and just kind of follow up. But one important note is that the price has come down. It was originally 200 when I filmed that. They brought it down to 150 which I think is a very welcome change. So uh, th today, I'm just going to answer and talk a little bit about the good stuff and the bad stuff and give you a sense of, you know, how do I feel about this now that it's been a little while. So on the good side, to start with, I do like the DIY element. I'm a big fan of DIY. DIY sort of uh, gear stuff, and I think if somebody gives you tools and a kit and whatnot, you end up having a closer attachment to the thing that you produce than if they just were to send me this guy, right? By buying the watch and then adding the kit, it becomes something that's a little bit more mine than it had they just sold me the watch with the kit on it. So I actually do appreciate that. I think, yeah, it's not going to be for everybody. Not everyone wants to sit down and do that, but for me, that was a joy, and so I like that a lot. Next thing, this does definitely feel more premium, right? If we compare this to the original Casio Royale, this is an out-of-the-box sort of one uh, that I purchased, and what we see here is... Um, yeah, this definitely looks a little classier. Not only do we lose that black plastic sort of insert there, but the uh, the, the crystal, so to speak, is better. It just it ends up feeling and looking a lot more classy uh, relative to the original one, right? Um, one could argue that there were definitely aesthetic benefits to the black and whatnot. Uh, who knows? But I, it is not really, uh, it's not up for debate that this one feels more luxurious. It feels heavier. It feels a little bit more uh, serious. And the, the solid metal construction feels way nicer than the plastic. So, that's a nice thing. Next thing, this guy, when you go to the kit, um, it gives you options that you don't have out of the box, right? If you buy this, this is pretty much your option. You can get it on different straps and whatnot, but this is kind of the option that you get. Whereas with this guy, you can get different kinds of coatings, colors, etc. You can get this in full black. You can get it with black and silver, with uh, silver and black, or wait, hold on, black and silver, uh, black and silver. There you go. There you go. Uh, you can get it in rose gold coating, uh, gold, uh, black. Uh, you can get all kinds of different things here that are not possible with the original Casio Royale, right? Casio will not sell you a rose gold one of these guys. These folks will. And so, um, that's going to give you options for things that you couldn't get otherwise. And I think that's great, right? For some people, their aesthetic might be, I want this, but I want it in rose gold. And you know what? Now they've got a choice. And that's nice. Next thing, I do appreciate the, the bracelet here. The bracelet on this is better than the original one, right? The original bracelet, for all of its uh, limited charms, is, uh, you know, very unflexible. It's very stiff. It feels a little more rattly and janky. This does feel better, 100%. This is a nicer bracelet. The uh, links are very, very wide, um, although not that much farther uh, than the original ones, but it is a, a an absolutely solid little bracelet. Um, and so I do appreciate that upgraded bracelet. Uh, that, that That is nice. Then finally, maybe the most important part about this, uh, short of that more premium feel, is it just adds durability here, right? This is all plastic and plastic and mineral and whatnot. Not this is sapphire and metal, right? So this just becomes a much more durable, much less scratchable sort of daily wear watch. Um, that is a beautiful thing, and it's something I got to say I do appreciate. So to me, all that is the good is that it adds some durability relative to the original. You get a somewhat improved bracelet. You get options for colors and coatings that just aren't possible out of the box. It definitely does feel more premium, and I do like the DIY element. On the bad side, I gotta say, I do wish they'd gone higher end with the clasp, because the clasp on this guy is no better than the original, right? The original is, well, here, I'll show you. Here's the original, folded metal, whatnot, four quick adjust holes. This is basically the same thing 
except without the Casio branding. Um, I wish that they had gone with something with a tool list, quick adjust or something like that. Um, those are a beautiful thing. They're readily available overseas. And, uh, you know, I feel like that's an area where they could have made this feel a lot more premium. And it is particularly valuable to have the watch wearing right when the watch is top heavy. And this is very, very top heavy. This is a watch that is much, much, much more top heavy. Even though the thickness of it isn't markedly different, the fact that you've replaced a bunch of plastic with a bunch of steel means this is way heavier. And so as a result, this definitely feels a little more unwieldy on the uh, wrist. It feels a little less well-behaved uh, than the plastic one, uh, right? And so that is a thing. And it is, by the way, just plain heavy. That's the next bad thing. This is heavier by a pretty good margin. If I take my little scale here, I throw it down on the table, we see that this guy comes in at 4.76 ounces adjusted to my wrist, whereas the original comes in at 2.8. Yeah, that's a major difference there, right? This feels much, much heavier. So I would kind of like to see this in titanium instead, so it would be more close to the original there. But if you are a person, and I know that there are people out there who equate in watches heavy with good, like a good watch is a heavy watch, a, I don't understand you, but have fun, and B, you're going to love this, right? Because this is 100% heavy. Um, but for me, it ended up being sort of a demerit, just like, whoa, boy, you know, putting this guy on next to the regular one, I don't know about that. Then finally, on the bad side, this is expensive, right? 150 bucks for the case, plus another 30 bucks for the watch guts that go inside of it. It's a little wild, right? And, you know, I gotta say, it's a little bit weird because, you know, if I start saying, you know, oh, well, yeah, it makes the watch more durable, but the thing is, you could replace this watch six times for the cost of this watch, right? Um, That's pretty wild, right? And so ultimately, this is a lot of money. And I can see it being more compelling if you're getting something fundamentally different, like a gold one of these guys or something like that, a uh, gold call it, I suppose, um, then then maybe it's going to make more sense. But for me, it was just like, hmm, 150 bucks plus 30 to buy the watch for a Casio Royale. Ooh, that's a thing. So um, that, that to me is the bad, is that it's very pricey. It is heavier by a good margin. It's top heavy. And I wish that they had gone higher end with the clasp rather than just a, a stamped kind of foldy sort of affair. Final conclusion, this is actually something I that ended up going a little differently than I figured it would. I figured that to me, this would end up being my favorite Casio Royale ever. And I say that because, well, for a few reasons. A, I tend to like metal over plastic. That's just the, my aesthetic, I suppose. Um, and I, you know, I like the Royale and whatnot, but I figured this would end up being my favorite Royale that has ever happened to me, right? Um, and so, and it, it would make sense, right? Because you're taking a good core watch, you're doing some DIY modification, adding a more premium feel with different coatings, different, a better bracelet, and more durability to the whole thing. Um, all of that sounded really good, but it is still low end in the, in the bracelet and the clasp area. It is pretty top heavy. It's heavy generally, and it's just pretty expensive overall. And ultimately, I kind of end up feeling pretty ambivalent about it, right? I like it because it adds quality to a watch that is already pretty good, but I dislike it because it adds huge cost and weight to something that was previously light on the wrist and on the wallet. But most of all, and this is sort of a very hard thing to kind of discuss meaningfully, it changes the essential nature of the thing, right? The Royale is light and it is cheap and it is a bit janky, but it is also charming in being light and cheap and janky, right? This is a watch that you buy because, well, it really won't, you're not spending so much money. Life is good, right? Uh, whereas the Royale with case here, as they call it in France, is something very, very different. It's not bad. I'm not saying this is worse. I'm just saying it's very different. And putting this on to me does not feel like the same thing as putting this on. They are very closely related. They are very similar in a lot of ways. But to me, uh, this is a different watch to wear than this one is. And I think most days I, I would reach for the original because if I'm wearing this, I want something that's inexpensive that I can beat up a little bit and not worry about it and that just kind of disappears on the wrist. Um, whereas this is a little bit less that. I think that though you would have a very different experience if you went with a different version, right? I went with this kind of sterile version because, well, I tend to like metal, right? I tend to like that. And, but if you went with like a very polished version or if you went with a, you know, rose gold, a gold tone or something like that, then what you are getting is something that is, well, fundamentally different, right? You could not have gotten a rose gold version of the, the, the Royale uh, with this. It, it is not a subtle change. It is something fundamentally different. 
And so if you have always wanted a rose gold royale and this is your route, then by God, you're probably going to love it, right? The other reason you might love it is if you've always liked the royale, but you've always felt like, God, that's so cheap and light. I want something big and heavy. In this case, yeah, that could definitely be a thing. But if you are in a position where you want the rose gold or you want the big and the heavy, this is a case where the downsides are just the cost of admission to a watch you've wanted all along. In that case, it's really not going to matter to you much. The things that are negatives here, yeah, they're going to be a little bit negative still, but at the same time, you're getting a rose gold royale finally. So I don't know. I mean, uh, my general feeling here, like I said, is ambivalence. I think this is kind of cool. I think it's nice. And I think that there are going to be a subset of uh, collectors of the Casio Royale who are going to buy this just because it's the watch they love done differently. And so that variety will end up being the spice of life. But what I would say most of all is that if you're already a fan of the Casio Royale here, then you've already got a great watch. This kit won't make it better, but it will make it modified. And so there you go. That's where you end up. If you want the modification or if you're willing to pay the price, then go for it. But otherwise, I think you should enjoy the great watch that you already have. So there you go. Hope this has been interesting to you and have yourselves an absolutely wonderful rest of your day. Bye now.